Previously, on Plan B Terraform, we were put in charge of the terraforming efforts of Planet Blas after an eccentric billionaire Pusk failed to terraform the planet with his plan of detonating thermonuclear warheads in the polar regions. We started out with simple manufacturing, creating many of the items we needed for continued automation and production of our terraforming efforts. We also made concrete for our three colonies, New Miami, New Prune and New Khartoum, and linked them with a simple road network. We finally supplied the ever-growing colonies with oxygen to allow the colony efforts to continue. And today, we will take our first steps into terraforming the world. G'day mate, and welcome back to the planet Blas with me, Jitty. We're playing a little bit more of Plan B Terraform. This is Plan B, do the terraforming, not any other Plan B that you may associate with the phrase Plan B. Uh, today, today, we're going to be getting into, well, actual terraforming. Actual terraforming, we, last episode, got uh, New Miami, also uh, New Khartoum, and also New Prune. All sort of, sort of upgrading, sort of upgrading. They're, they're doing all right. They're, they're all heading towards a population of, wrong building, uh, up to a population of 100. Once they get to a population of 100, um, their demands are going to slightly change and therefore uh, they're going to stop growing. So we need to um, fix that up. But at the same time, we also unlock some new technology. We unlock the ability to make some polymer bars, also some reinforced concrete, also high-tech parts, and the Depot Mark II. Depot Mark II is going to make a giant difference for how we build things because um, it reaches twice as far. It reaches two hexes rather than one hex, therefore it can change up how we build things. But um, first off, we need to, let's start with our new Miami, and we need to start with, um, well, making some of the new buildings. Uh, yes, I wanna start making uh, Depot Mark II, which means we need to make uh, polymer bars and also aluminium bars. Now, polymer bars are gonna be pretty easy, I hope, in the fact that if I find a one of those, yeah, let's put you here and you're gonna make polymer bars from carbon, which makes life pretty easy because we happen to have carbon right here. In fact, we have an abundance of carbon. And if I put in two depots like this, this will link this carbon we're already storing up into this slot and into here. And therefore we should be able to get you to output uh, polymer bars and you'd output polymer bars as well and now we can have these two factories hopefully consume all the carbon we've been um, producing for quite some time and park them in these two depots. But um, that doesn't get us to Depot Mark II, which is what I'd really like to get up and running. Also, I should mention that all our towns are no longer happy with us because they did have concrete but now they're not happy with concrete anymore they want reinforced concrete so we also need to fix that up so the population keeps expanding so uh to make reinforced concrete you obviously need to take some steel and mix it with some aluminium on top of that we need to get uh, steel steel and mix it with your concrete on top of that we also need to get aluminium bars to make our depot mark ii let's do that first actually because that is a whole pile of aluminium bars ready to go Okay, uh, if we have aluminium bars ready to go, let's put in a road network. Let's put you right there. Let's come over to where we started making polymer. And if I put in one of those and I say Depot Mark II, the only thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need aluminium bars, which we are going to hook together with a road network. And I should be able to take the existing aluminium that I've had stacked up doing nothing, I run it along here. Uh, it seems it's just easy to overdraw the roads. Just run them in a straight line and then fix them afterwards. Sure. Delete. All right, uh, we wanna click at this end. We wanna set the destination we want it to be the other end of this road over here we're going to say aluminium bars and let's just throw 10 trucks at the problem that's 17 per year 33 per year you'll make 12 per year so realistically i probably overdid it a little bit but um double production triple production yeah can i get 36 please sure i don't know if i'm making 36 aluminium bars but it's a start uh yes i am making 30 polymer 
sorry, 60 Polymer, 30 mach per machine. So that should get Depot Mark II's up and running. Uh, you only make 30 steel. Uh, 30 aluminium bars, sorry, not steel, aluminium bars. Yeah, we'll come back and fix this. All right, we've at least got one half of the shipment up and running. So we can start making Depot Mark II, but I need to, as I said, make some steel to mix with my um, concrete to make reinforced concrete. So I'm gonna assume that happens in one of you guys, no. It's going to happen in one of you guys. Reinforced concrete, right there. Okay, so reinforced concrete is going to require concrete and steel bars. So we need to get some steel bars, which should be as easy as put you down, set you to be steel bars, put in one of these guys, set you to be iron, and then put in a bunch of those. That should give us steel. That should give us an output for steel. That should give us... Uh, well, that should give us reinforced concrete. We just need to have a depot for concrete. And of course, we're gonna have to truck that in right there. Uh, that should be us done. So we just need to get concrete here. Oh God. Can I? Yeah. Less wiggles. Less wiggles. Okay. With that done, what I want to do is you were delivering concrete. Okay, so I want to flip this. So this becomes the origin and then I want to change the destination to be here. Yes, and then we're going to want a second one of these. This one is going to be for reinforced concrete. Uh, that one, which is going to need a new swir a new, new, new drop off pickup. And we're going to take the existing concrete that I shipped all the way down here, pick it back up, uh, put it back on a bunch of trucks. In fact, do I have enough trucks that's all gonna fit? I do not. Add 10. How many is in there? 11, 10, seven, six. Add a few more. I want this depot empty. Okay, with that depot empty, all the trucks are going to make a one-way trip over to here, drop off their concrete, and then we should be good to go. At the same time, I have some depot Mark IIs. So because I now have depot Mark IIs, we can put that there, and then I can put a minor of one more tile further out to then run this machine. Also, at the same time, if I upgrade you, that was the wrong type. I want to upgrade you to steel bar. Upgrade you to a depot Mark II, I can now paralyze um, these factories. So rather than just having one factory, I can now put two factories. Also, if I was to swap out, let's go with you for a depot, I could daisy chain my depots together. Uh, that's two tiles, that's two tiles, that's two tiles. Yes. And in fact, uh, let's put one there and one there just so I can get this little bit sticking out the edge. Yes, happier. Okay, so that should give me a bunch of steel. Also, at the same time, uh, all the trucks are delivered. Cool, all the trucks are delivered. We're going to remove this line and its vehicles. We're going to set the origin to be our existing concrete production right there. Uh, concrete, can I ship? Ah, uh, 42, 42, that seems like a good number. Uh, and then from here, we're gonna set you as the origin and the destination will be the town because they now need reinforced concrete. Destination, destination set, uh, reinforced concrete. Also means I need to change you across to be reinforced concrete as well and i don't know uh, 30 trucks 31 trucks cool we'll, we'll, we'll start there we'll see how well that runs all right so uh double check some production lines so i need to have one steel bar for every one concrete i need to make 30 steel bars you should be making 30 you should be making another 30 if everything goes well and that should be us done i will whilst we're here upgrade you and you to a depot mark ii they don't need to be a mark ii just yet but I'm considering we might have to double up the factories to supply enough materials to keep the town happy. Town happy. That's the words I'm going for. Okay. 
So, uh, that's our reinforced concrete set up. Uh, what else did we unlock? We unlocked polymer bars, which we played with. High tech parts, which is aluminium bar and polymer bar, which we conveniently have right here. So if we come over here and we do some upgrades. So these are currently depot mark ones. If I change that to a mark two and that one to a mark two, then that one to a mark two, we now have a little bit more spread. I should be able to change... No, we need a whole different machine. We need that machine to make high-tech parts. Sure, uh, we can have a high-tech part machine right there. And I'm going to put the depot... Hi. Uh, level 6. Increase the temperature of the planet by 1 degrees. Okay, by making a greenhouse gas factory and to release SF6 into the atmosphere. All right, we'll add that to our list. Uh, we will start with you and we'll just make some high-tech parts. We'll just park them there for the moment. We will get them produced at the same time. If I upgrade you to a depot mark two, you to a depot mark two. I don't need that depot, nor do I need that depot. Because you now reach to this guy. Yes. Just a little bit of an improvement. Just a tiny bit. Uh, and you guys are being limited by aluminium which you so annual production of 30 and that means you need 60 aluminium ore you make 15 so that's 30 that's 60 i have some spare okay so if i upgrade you with a depot mark ii i upgrade you to a depot mark ii so they have better range i can then put in a second factory right here which now means we're not looking at uh, for needing 60 or we're now needing what twice that 120 so uh 30 60 90 120 yes and then let's tap that tile as well and you know what we might we might put another depot just here so I can start cleaning out some of the some of these patches that don't have a lot of minerals in them. You know, the the the, the ones that look more full um, have you know 400, 300. These other ones have less than 200 generally. So we can start clearing those out. It just simplifies my life a little bit. I hope uh, that's got a little bit of overproduction, but that's fine. All right. Uh, so we got access to a greenhouse gas generator, which is going to need some mechanical parts and some high tech parts. Uh, haven't been mechanical parts. No steel bar. Close. Uh, okay. You're bringing in aluminium bars. Which... That's mechanical parts. You're making mechanical parts. And then you're making atmospheric extractors. I don't really need any more of those. They're going pretty good. But... I have mechanical parts here in theory. And I have polymer at the other one. At the other end of this road connection. So if we were to upgrade that depot and that depot, put in a second one of those, upgrade that depot as well to get more range, that should give us mechanical parts right here. Uh, and in a higher supply. At the same time, we're gonna put a roundabout there because that's within two tiles of this depot mark two. Also, I can put in another one to make mechanical parts. Sure. How many atmospheric extractors do I have? 76. Like, 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 can I, can I, can I just limit production to say a hundred? That's it. That's all I need. Like this one, supply centers, 47. Resources on the planet are finite. I'm, I'm worried about running out by just converting too much of it into stuff that I probably don't need. Although, hang on. You're making assembly plant parts and you're all out. We're going to copy that one and place it there. Because assembly plants I am using which technically means this is not doing anything anymore. We'll leave it. Okay, 
uh, what was I doing? I was getting mechanical parts. So now we have mechanical parts here. I need to ooh, zoom a little bit less. Um, we need to put a road network connection down here somewhere, which we're going to put there. We're going to set the origin for that one, uh, which will be mechanical parts. So we're now going to ship mechanical parts down to here as well. We'll add in 20 trucks to get us started. And we'll also add in a depot mark two for mechanical parts. And then finally, we need to make those, which I'm assuming are going to be made inside one of these machines. Greenhouse gas generator. There we go. Okay. So that should be the automation up and running. We should get those uh, gradually over time. Where is a truck? There we go. One of these guys carrying green stuff. Perfect. Perfect. It works. All right. So with greenhouse gas generator, uh, we are going to need to... I can't place one. I can't place one yet. Uh, we need to get SF6. Okay. F, uh, no, S stands for sulfur, which is right here. We know what sulfur looks like. F stands for fluoride, which are these tiny little patches here. Uh, I hear it's something great to brush your teeth with. Uh, so we're going to look for a tiny bit of fluoride somewhere near a tiny patch of sulfur. Like this. This looks like our plan. All right. So we're going to put in one of these buildings. This is going to make SF6, uh, which... Uh, produces greenhouse gases like sulfur hexafluoride SF6 24,000 times more powerful than CO2 or nitrogen trifluoride NF3 out 8,000 times more powerful than CO2 and released it in the atmosphere okay so uh, we're making toxic chemicals and dropping them straight in the atmosphere because that is our purpose we're going to call it terraforming, not polluting. Entirely different. Okay. Uh, we want to have a bunch of these. In fact, let's work in reverse. Can I get a depot? If I put a depot there and it's fluoride, yeah, fluoride's on the top. And then I put one here and here. Hang on. Change you to be sulfur. Okay. You're both sulfur. You're both fluoride. So within two tiles of this one is there, there, and there. Uh, also not there. And within two tiles of this one is that one and that one. And you're within two tiles. You're within two tiles. Over here is outside two tiles. That's fine. Next up we need... Next up we need... Hang on. If I do one like that and one like that. Might need some more room. Put one there. Put you beside. Delete. Doing things on a hex grid is definitely odd. Uh, I would need a road connection here and a road connection here. Uh, that's two tiles. I don't have any more machines. Actually. And then let's delete the ones on the inside. Yep. Uh, okay, so that's two tiles. So that's three, six, eight compared to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's go with this design. I, I think I prefer this. This looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, so let's put, let's put that one, whoop, there. Uh, our road connection there and there. Then grab these machines and whack them all around the outside. Let's clean up a little bit as we go. Cool. Okay. No idea if we have the throughput that we need to get this to run, but you know, one problem at a time. All right. Let's start with the uh, fluoride. So fluoride, we just need to bring in straight fluoride no processing whatsoever which makes my life so much easier so we're going to put down one two three four uh, five six okay and then i'm going to put another one within two tiles and another one within two tiles sure and now they're all going to daisy chain together we're going to put a road connection here and we're going to go from a to 
B. Yep, super far distance. All right, uh, destination set there for fluoride, uh, 10 trucks. Okay, and then something similar down here. So there, two tiles away, uh, that's two tiles away, and then a bunch of these guys. Yeah, and road connections, let's put it, yeah, sure. And same story, just plug in the roads and destination right there, sulfur. Oh, uh, a lot of trucks, 10. 10 should be heaps. Okay, so in theory, we have fluoride, we now have sulfur, and therefore we should be slowly heating the planet. Slowly, slowly. Uh, I'm assuming the drones can keep up. Okay, let's just add more trucks. Yeah, no, there's an issue with unloading, it looks like. And these guys are spending a lot of time load balancing when really we just don't care whether it's load balanced or not. We just want it on the trucks. So let's put in a second depot, second depot, another depot here, which should increase the ability to export at the same time. Okay, so we're having a problem unloading as well. So let's put in a, another depot here as well. Actually, let's put it on that side. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Never mind. Yeah, we'll put it here. That should... I'm, I'm, I'm looking at things. Okay, level seven. Uh, next up, we need to get a population of a thousand in the biggest city, which is probably the only city we're working on currently, which is Miami, I think. Uh, and it, we have unlocked the rail stop, the well, the rails, the rail stop, and the trains. So that means trains are in today's episode. Uh, yeah, I, I think whatever I had to do, I did well, and this looks like it's going very, very well. Very, very, very well. Okay, uh, we're gonna leave that problem. All right, uh, let's go look at. Actually, we're right here at this town. All right, can I just do a very, very quick uh, make some steel? Uh, I'm gonna do iron right there. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shop. Sure. Uh, you are gonna do steel bar and your friend, and then you're gonna do one of these, which is gonna be steel. Cool. Wrong button. Uh, and then we'll do a roundabout. We'll, we, we do need to play with trains, but let's just work with roads for right this second. Uh, can I do a production? Let's go with here. Of reinforced concrete. Uh, let's do two of them. Let's do a depot there for concrete depot there for steel yep and a depot there for reinforced concrete yeah they really bent to put that there there we go uh can i bring that into there can i put you there and there and hook a quick road in there and a quick road. Like so. Okay, uh, can I very quickly? So we're going to change that. Uh, we're gonna look at the origin, uh, the, the destination. Destination is now gonna be here. Uh, we're going to go for origin being this one. Uh, for steel bars and we're just going to throw 30 trucks, 30 trucks at the problem yep, so that should get a steel that should bring steel up to here uh, we are currently shipping all the concrete back and then as soon as this is empty of concrete and there's how many here? 34, uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, we'll just put 40 trucks on the problem that way they can all grab some each, and as soon as they're done, they're done. Uh, we'll upgrade that depot, 
look at that depot. Not because we have to, but because we want to. As soon as this is empty, yeah, we're going to change you over to be reinforced concrete. And as soon as all of this has been dropped off, yeah, come on, guys. We're going to remove the line and all the trucks. We're going to set your origin to that one for concrete. Uh, add 20 trucks. We're going to go to you. We're going to set your destination to be that one for reinforced concrete. And send some trucks. Okay. <clears throat> New cartoon can now get uh, upgraded as well. Back to Miami. Miami, what's your issue? Uh, I'm not making reinforced concrete fast enough. Really? Uh, I agree. Cool. Um, there we go. Maybe that fixes it. We'll just triple the output. Because iron is not the issue. That's for sure. Uh, it's just a concrete issue. Possibly. Well. Let's bring in some more concrete just in case. Okay. Uh, what we were doing? We were building rails. Okay. So how do we make rails? Rails require one concrete and one steel bar. So you mean like one of these factories I have right here, which we're going to change over. No, ooh, wrong type of factory. It's the other factory we need. It is the assembly plant. Uh, rail. Concrete, steel. Yeah, let's do two of those. I can see myself using a fair amount of um, rails and rail stops is the exact same. Uh, okay, so we're going to change you up to do rail stops. And yeah, however much concrete I was bringing in, it's suddenly not enough. Not even close. Oh, it's the one plant who could. Uh, okay, we're going to upgrade that one to be a tier two. Uh, and we're going to put in a tier two over here here for sulfur uh i'm gonna add some miners you have mined out everything we can upgrade you to be tier two as well which means i can put a concrete factory there and there you've mined out everything as well uh two tiles away is here which means all of those can get added up oh, and there, 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 there. Okay, so all of this can draw into any one of these ports. Okay, sulfur. Uh, we need to upgrade our concrete production, which means anywhere with, within two tiles of this output. So here and here are all valid. And surprisingly enough, I still don't have enough sulfur. Okay, I can put another depot here, and we can put two miners there. I can put another depot here and here. I know I'm daisy chaining on my daisy chains, but... That surely is enough. You know what? Okay, you're making road stops and supply centers supply centers 67 i think we're good on that one let's just stop that one road stops 151 i think we're good on that one too okay if i put a depot for sulfur uh here and here we can now get sulfur from actually I get sulfur from here to here to here to here to here to, to, to all this. Okay. If I put a concrete one here and here, we can fly concrete this way. I know, I know. It's really odd, but it's 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 fine. Okay, it's it's perfectly fine. It's it's just how we're gonna do things. Uh, that's a depot mark one. Ah mark two, mark two, mark two. What are you producing? You're producing road and road. Okay, road I can sort of see myself going through a fair bit of still. 
Uh, I don't need you because you mined out. Uh, I don't need you because you mined out. It technically means I can move those two depots off the patch and add in more miners. Yes. Okay, we now have lots of concrete. Add more trucks. Yeah, it seems we're going fine. All right, uh, all of that effort, and we haven't done anything about making an actual train. Uh, okay, trains built in one of these. Train, mechanical parts and high-tech parts. Okay, uh, well, we have a production line for those right here. Uh, you're out of mechanical parts. Okay... because we're just not making them fast enough. All right, so let's start with dead miners. Let's remove you and you. Let's upgrade that. Do iron plus there, plus there. Okay, let's pull up that one and pull up that one. Uh, put in just a few more miners. Yep. So, uh, I don't have any steel. That is 100% correct. So, uh, there, and there, and that's within two tiles of that exit, and that's within two tiles of that exit. Uh, I just realized I could put two more miners in there. Okay, so you're doing, uh, steel. You're doing steel bars, you're trying to do mechanical parts, although we don't have iron, nor do I have steel, so that's a thing. Uh, maybe we just start from scratch. Yeah, let's start from scratch. Okay, uh, let's grab one of these. Well, we got there in the end. Uh, increase the temperature by 10 degrees. We're almost there, actually. All right, so let's put you there. Within two tiles, put another one, and another one, and another one, another one, another one, more. Another one there, there, and there. Okay. Miners. Uh, here, 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 here. Yeah, just every tile. Uh, can I put one in there? Thank you. gonna have major throughput problems i realize that that's fine but we'll, we'll, we'll solve those one at a time okay to help with throughput we'll put a few like this okay then one steel bar steel bar steel bar uh steel bar steel bar steel bar okay if i put one here steel bars uh and there and there yep that reaches and that reaches okay so that's given us a pile of steel here after we have a pile of steel here we're going to do a pile of mechanical parts uh here 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 uh there we're gonna put in another depot uh we we're gonna have you do mechanical parts uh that reaches and that reaches okay with all that done we're then going to put in our road connection and we'll just plug you into the road for the moment if i delete that remove the line and its vehicles perfect okay we're going to set the destination as this one uh for mechanical parts where's mechanical parts there it is and we'll just throw i don't know 30 trucks at the problem as always just pick an arbitrary number and go and that seems to be working like i can see that we have some iron stacked up here so we're probably not getting dragged down fast enough and like this one has no iron so we're definitely not getting dragged daisy chained through the list fast enough 
and in fact these two can't reach a depot but it's fine it's fine we'll, we'll, we'll mine out the stuff at the front and we'll get to the stuff at the rear eventually uh yeah there's a couple of these that don't actually have any iron but we have plenty of steel and therefore we have plenty of mechanical parts in fact um let's just run another 10 trucks the problem right with that done we have our high-tech parts even though we only have one machine making them but that should be fine and i need to have we're going to assume it's one of these guys to make traits which needs four and four yeah uh, so you need a polymer plus aluminium. You know what? Uh, we're going to move you to here. I'm going to duplicate that one. Although you seem to be very, very much out of polymer. Depot Mark 2. So we're going to have now 214. Yeah, I, I think we can halve the production there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Uh, okay. The mechanical parts. It still looks to be a truck problem. Just throw another 10 trucks at the problem. Okay. All right. So we now, in theory, have trains. In theory. Uh, I have 600 train track. I have 10 train stops. And I have... I don't know how many trains do we start placing them. Okay. New Miami. What do you want now? Reinforced concrete. Really? Really? Oh. Have 60 trucks. Yeah. That's going to be our answer. Alright. And we're about to unlock metal waste, a waste disposal, and a wall recycling center. And what did we unlock? Trains. Okay. But we've got trains. We've got them, uh... The production line's built at least. Let's go to... So you guys are not happy because you don't have concrete. Uh, reinforced concrete, that is. So let's go out to here. Here. No, you know what? You know what? I think we're going to start next episode. We're going to start next episode with placing trains. We're going to unlock in the next episode metal waste, waste disposal, and the recycling center when we hit um, 10 degrees. 10 degrees, we're going to increase the planet uh, temperature by 10 degrees. Currently, we're at minus, minus 48.1. Well, there we go. Reach your population 200 in the biggest city. Oh, I unlocked... Wow. Okay, I unlocked um, level 8 and level 9. instantly yep and three thousand is the next objective so uh turns out next episode we're going to come back and we're going to start building trains on top of that it looks like we need to get new miami from um a population of about a thousand up to a population of three thousand or is that just three thousand total total population of three thousand okay all right well that should be easy that should be easy that should be something we should be able to do in the next episode uh we also need oxygen faster it turns out um, who would have thunk it? Do we have oxygen in the other end? Oh, we do. We have heaps. Throw trucks at the problem. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh no. We got 151 trucks. No? Okay, I thought that said 1,000 for a second. Anyway, we're going to leave this episode here. We'll come back next episode. We will fix up new Miami. Also, we might as well play with trains uh, on new Prune and start giving them reinforced concrete because, well, they're not growing currently as is. And it means their population stuck at 111. So we'll come back next episode. We'll fix that up. We'll do that. And we will see what we unlock for level 10, which is absolutely nothing. But, you know, it's a start. It's a start. Anyway, with all that said, I'm going to call this video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you in the very next episode. Bye.